if you survived your own death, only to have death hunt you down and kill you and your friends one by one, what would you do? I'm going to break down the mistakes made, what you should do, and how to be death in Final Destination 5. This group of people is about to die a brutal death. Sam here is attending a company retreat with his co-workers and his ex-girlfriend Molly when their bus is stopped by construction workers doing repair work. Sam thinks this is a normal stop with no idea that the bridge is about to collapse and he's going to be killed in a freak accident. Sam feels an eerie gust of wind run through him as the bus stops. He accidentally gets cut by a metal shard on the seat and the bus's radio malfunctions. He knows something isn't right and Sam asks his best friend Peter if he felt the bridge shake, but he didn't. Freaked out, the man looks outside the front window to see that the bridge is starting to collapse. Terrified, the man grabs his ex-girlfriend's hand and runs out of the bus, but they're trapped as the bridge falls all around them. One of Sam's co-workers, Candace, falls from the bridge to her death on top of a ship's mast. Scared out of his mind, the man runs towards safety with his ex-girlfriend and his best friend as their bus falls to the water, killing Isaac, another one of their co-workers. Sam, Molly, and Peter run towards safety, but they must dodge crowds, parked cars, falling pavement, and suspension lines. Suddenly, a large chunk of the bridge falls in front of them, trapping them. But the man finds a metal beam attaching the two sides of the bridge and guides his ex-girlfriend across into safety. Before walking over the beam, Sam helps another one of his co-workers, Olivia, across. But the pavement abruptly shifts, and Olivia slides off of the beam into the water. A car then falls from the bridge above her, crushing her. Another co-worker, Nathan, runs towards Sam to save